to my amazing wife, Lindsay. May the Lord bless you and keep you in perfect peace. Love you always, James. Merry Christmas, sweetheart. <laughs>
Okay, y'all know I'm not talking to her like that right now, so nope, not going. Heather, this is the perfect time to show up and talk to Mama about your problems. Plus, it's Christmas for Christ's sake, Jesus. Not going. Heather, come for us, pretty please. Mm -mm. <sighs> Heather, you're gonna go, even if we have to drag your ass there. I'd like to see y'all motherfuckers try. Cool. Is she talking to us? I have no idea. So my mom wants all of us over for Christmas this year because she wants to see her grandbaby. But sweetheart, we had plans with my family. You remember? Uh, yeah, love. I, I just think it's a good idea for Hannah to see her grandmother. She haven't seen her grandmother all year. Come on, babe. You know this. Samuel, we talked about this already. Why haven't you taken off your uniform? Hey, I'm going to take it off when I get home. And plus, by the way, I look good in my uniform. I love your uniform, Dad. I think you look good in it. Oh, Hannah, Hannah, thanks. See? Hannah likes it. <laughs> okay. Two against one. Whatever. You guys win. You look good too, Mom. Oh, thank you. So, Hannah, would you really like to go see your grandma for Christmas? Oh, Mom, can I go? I love spending time with Grandma. She's the best. Okay, Hannah. Christmas, Christmas at Grammy's. One day, there was a reindeer named Rudolph who had a red nose. I remember this story. I love this story. Okay, okay, okay. I'll finish it, honey. I'll finish the story. Rudolph had a shiny red nose. He was very different from all the other reindeer. Santa Claus was looking for a powerful leader to lead all the reindeers pulling his sled for the missions of all missions. Is that mission to pass out all the gifts around the world, Dad? Yes, that's right. The whole world. Santa saw that Rudolph had power in that shiny nose. So Rudolph led the reindeer pack. But before Santa took off in the night air, he hollered, ho, 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 Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then the sled took off. When Rudolph leaned in the pack, she went to sleep. Good night, princess. We love you. Good night, princess. Love you. <sighs> so, babe, did I make the right choice? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Going to my parents for Christmas. Well, honestly, no. But Hannah wants to go see your grandmother for Christmas. Yeah. Man. Well, I just want everything to go all right. Me too. Yeah. So, I talked to Malcolm. Yeah, I congratulated him on his new movie. Do you know who your brother reminds me of? Who? Will Smith. Will Smith, maybe? Yes, Will Smith. Oh. My brother's a pretty good actor. But nothing about Malcolm made me think Will Smith. Well, then what made your brother decide to become a famous actor? Well, this is going to be music to your ears. He said Denzel Washington made him become a famous actor. Well, Denzel Washington is a really good actor. Yeah, he is a really good actor. So did you, uh, you, you tell your parents? Uh, yeah, they know. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, don't worry, babe. I promise you. I'm going to make this up, okay? Uh, we can go to your mother's for New Year's. Wow, are you, are you serious? Yeah. It's going to be fun. Mom, I'm scared. What's the matter, sweetheart? It's so dark in my room. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Samantha's Hotline Show. I'm your host, Samantha Green, 
and today we are going to be talking about Christmas, which is my favorite holiday of the year. Why? Because we all come together as a community and spend time with our loved ones. Now, y'all may know that this Christmas may be a little different for me because I'm on the assignment to interview this guy. You may all know who this guy is, Malcolm Stone. He is a famous actor and I will be interviewing him. Now, I do wonder why he keeps making violent films. He should be making good movies to show the kids from all across the world to know what it's like to be a good role model for other actors. But you guys are probably saying, Samantha Green, don't be so mean, but you know, that is all bull crap in the end of the day. Now, the weather today will be 70 degrees and it is gonna be very hot. But don't you worry, because tomorrow it's going to be snowing! We're going to be having a very snowy Christmas! Okay, but you guys know that I do take my job very seriously. But don't you worry, I will be having Malcolm Stone on tomorrow. So please be here tomorrow morning, and I will be having my special guest, Malcolm Stone. Have a good day, everybody. Who's that for? It's for you, silly girl. Here, open it. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Oh. You're welcome. Samantha Green, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. So today's the big day, huh? Yes, I have to go interview that famous actor named Malcolm Stone. Gosh, I hope that guy won't be a dick. Malcolm's a cool guy. I mean, haven't you seen all his movies and interviews? He's a class act. I mean, no wonder he keeps getting all those new roles. I mean, I can see why. You've gotten this place hooked up. Are you bringing anyone special over for Christmas? Did you know that John called me and he wants another date? Girl, I mean, you should at least think about it. No, he is a dick. I thought you liked him. What, John? I don't even dream about him. Oh, so you're playing with his feelings? Okay. Oh, wow, I got all these mail? Yeah, I mean, they're from all over the world. Who are they from? They're from my community. Thank you for covering their stories. So how long have you worked at Fox News? For about five years. Damn, that's a long fucking time. Yeah. Plus, my coworkers there are nice. Good to, you know, be happy where you work. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what time is it? Are you gonna be late for your appointment with Malcolm? Oh, shoot. Here, take this. God. I've been waiting all day long for this woman. Where is she? All right, sorry I'm late. Um, I'm Samantha Green, and I'm going to be covering your Fox News stories. Nice to meet you. So, how long have you been doing acting for? For about five years. And what made you want to become an actor? Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington? Yes, I mean, you don't watch any of his movies? I mean, they're great, but not the best. What? Are you out of your freaking mind? No, I'm not out of my f mind. That's just... The Listen, Fox News sent me out here to interview you because your movies are not good for kids. What do you mean my movie's not good for kids? Look, people love my movies. Don't you? I'm actually not a fan. This is bullshit. Listen, what's gonna be the new title of your movie? Hmm, well right now I'm working on a Christian faith-based movie. Oh, really? I mean, I think you would do great in those kind of movies. Oh, thank you, Samantha. Yes, plus my friend Rachel is a huge fan of you and your movies. And oh, um, she wanted me to give you this gift for being her favorite actor. Oh, thank you, Samantha. A watch? It's great. You gonna come to the studio with me? Wait, now? Yes, come. Whatever. Hi everyone, welcome to the Samantha Show. I have a very special guest here named Malcolm Stone. Thank you so much for coming on my show today. Oh, uh, uh, thank you for having me. So, Malcolm, the reason why I brought you on my show today is because your movies are always number one on the chart and why is that? Oh, and by the way, Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Listen, the reason why my movies are always number one because I make sure that when I do a movie, I put my heart and soul into it. Heart and soul. I like that. 
So Miles, I have a personal question to ask you. Okay, what is it? My friends are wondering, are you seeing anyone? Um, well, no, I'm not seeing anyone because I'm busy um, doing my own thing, but if the right woman comes along, then who knows what might happen. Yeah, of course. Have you ever thought about doing movies without any violence in Wait, it? come again? No violence in it. That's why I'm working on this one Christian faith-based movie. Wow. You see, you need to do more movies like that. So that way, the world can see a different side of me. Well, Miles, good luck on all of your success, and thank you so much for coming on the show today. Ah, thank you for having me. America, you heard it here first. Thank you so much for coming on the Samantha's Hotline show, and I hope you have a good one. What is this? The Christmas parade. We watch this every year. <laughs> really? Yeah. You know, I want to thank you girls so much for coming home for Christmas this year. It really means a lot to your mother and I. Of course, Dad. How can we not come to Christmas with this family? Well, you guys never show up, so I'm just glad you made it this year. Well, speaking of Merry Christmas, I got you a little something. Oh, thank you, baby girl. Well, I wanted to do something special for you, so... Damn, we're giving gifts out? Where's mine's? I know you guys just made it here, so uh, I can't wait to see my gift. I just got mine. I promise I've been on Santa's good list all year, so I better get big big, big gifts tomorrow. That was aggressive. So, Jacob, how's school coming along? I mean, school's cool. College is definitely different from high school, but my grace is getting a little bit, it's a little bit better. <laughs> Are you dating anyone, little brother? I mean, I'm dating this little shorty named Amber. Amber? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I mean, Amber, Sonia, Elizabeth. Should I go on? About three Kims. Oh, three Kims? Pops. But that's my boy, though. Oh, there are my girls. Mom! Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Uh-uh. Y'all ain't get up and hug me like that. Merry Christmas, Linda. Merry Christmas. I love you. I miss you. Okay, so... We're making dinner for everyone. Okay, mom, let's go make dinner. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be great, let's go. I'm staying here. Uh-uh, who turned it? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. You too, Hannah. Hmm. Merry Christmas, James. Merry Christmas, Jacob. Merry Christmas, Linda. Good to see you. Man, this is gonna be fun. Y yeah, son. Okay, yeah. Okay, get on out the way. All right, there you go. Okay. Down the sideline. The pass incomplete with a flag. Girl, I have a surprise for you. You do? What is it, money? No, silly girl. It's your favorite actor. What? <gasps> Whoa, Malcolm Stone, is it really you? Can I give you a hug? Whatever. <gasps> oh. <laughs> what was that for? For you? Are you a hater? No, I'm not a hater. Give the man some fresh air. Malcolm, would you take a picture with me for my friends? Whatever. <laughs> oh. Why don't you sit down on the couch? <laughs> Glass of wine, please. So, you're a wine lover. And that new movie you're in, What's Going On? I mean, that is so good. Thank you for your support, um, Rachel. Um, by the way, I loved that gift that you gave Samantha to give to me today. You do? Do you know that you're so much better looking in person? I know. <sighs> wow, this one tastes so damn good. So, do you have any plans for the holidays, babe? What? 
what? Sure. Actually, I have to go spend the holidays with my family. But you two are more than welcome to tag along. I mean, you are going to be interviewing me for Christmas. My friend Rachel here needs me for Christmas. No, I don't. Don't we have plans? Well, yeah, but plans can change, girlfriend. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's go have some fun, girl. Well, I must warn you that this is going to be a very wild Christmas. Wild Christmas? What do you mean by that? A very wild Christmas. So, Hannah, are you so excited to be here with your granny for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> this is gonna be what? This is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be so much fun. See, she's so happy. You're right. See? Hannah's gonna have a wonderful Christmas this year. Oh, snaps, the movie star. What's up, everyone? Malcolm has arrived. Oh, hey, brother. Hey. Hey. What's going on? What's going on, Mom? Hey, what's up, Malcolm? Wait, are you the news reporter from Fox News? Wait, I think that is her. Hello everyone, I'm Samantha Green, and thank you so much for having me, and Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Hi! <laughs> oh my god, girlfriend. I watch you every night. This is so sweet of you. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? Yeah, did something bad happen? Oh no. She's just doing a news story on Malcolm. About what? Well, the network she works for thinks that his movies are too violent. Hmm. So, Malcolm, when are you gonna stop making violent movies? Wait, come again? I want to thank my family for coming home for Christmas this year. I want to thank Samantha Green for helping Malcolm make a change in his career. You don't know how much this means to me. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bro, I love your movies. Stay the same, never change, but don't make a big change. Really, Jacob? What? I wasn't trying to be funny, Dad. Malcolm, do you. I love you regardless of whatever type of movies you make. See? Basically what she said. But I said it better. So, Dad, how have you been? Oh, I've been good. You know, working hard. Same thing every day. So when are you going to start boycotting your old films? Boycotting my own films? Dad, why would I boycott all my films? I mean, people love the movie. I mean, I make a lot of money off of them. So it's all about the money with you, huh? See, you just like those people. Come on, Samuel. You know what I mean. It's what the people want, and plus, it pays the bills. Sweetheart, please don't go there, okay? This is Christmas. Let's just have fun. Fine. So, Hannah, are you ready for the big surprise? What is it, Granddaddy? Are you ready to meet Santa Claus? Yeah! <laughs> so, what would you like for Christmas, little girl? Can I take a picture with you? Of course you can. So, what would you like for Christmas this year? A car. A, a car! car. Just kidding, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I was about to say. I would like some boots. Some boots? Let me see what I have in my bag. I have something just for you. You're welcome, Hannah. Dad, Mom, look, these are the boots I wanted. 
Well, Santa, would you get a picture with all of us? Of course we will. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> Trees.